one in. Um, we got one in shot put. Shot put. The other in tennis. Yeah, the other in tennis. Yeah, sure. So tennis, huh? Yeah, tennis. Yeah, mm, okay. so it's, it's really nice. Okay, so. all right, all right. <laughs> we have Bovi in the building. <laughs> AKA Man of Fire. Man of Fire. <laughs> man of Fire. <laughs> That could easily be a good uh, title for a pornographic film, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but that means the guy got an STD. <laughs> I'm trying to sell tickets, so I won't talk. I'm trying to sell tickets, but... Ah, all right. I think it's your first time here this year, right? Yes, absolutely. Oh, okay, cool. So what's been going on? Um, Not much. Not much. I I think I spent the early part of this year preparing for my show in Port Harcourt. Okay, why Port Harcourt? Though? Normally, I thought you, you always used to kick off in Lagos. I never done Lagos twice a year. Okay. Twice in two years. You did Lagos last year, right? I did Lagos last year. And by the way, so it was a very good show. It, yeah, was, it was a good yeah, show. Yeah, was I was there. Show. No, no, I heard that like, you were really good. Thank you. I think it's, uh, yeah, his comedy shows are always a difference because mm -hmm. he actually, you know, um, gives us you know something I to look for. Yeah, yeah. Because when I when I when I want to see comedy shows, I, yeah, it's great to see other comedians do their yeah. stuff. But if it's Bobby doing something, I want to see like you know, a Bobby actually do like a, like a, a huge chunk of the show. Yeah, you know, show, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's it. And you also keep it fresh, which is very important. That's why I don't do every year, basically. And relatable. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. uh, a lot of times when um, when you like when you someone's like you know, we don't really understand the word of exposure, you know. Some people uh, become overexposed uh, uh, right. over a twelve-month period right. because there are too many. There are too, too many shows in circulation. Yeah. Yeah, and then they're doing the same routine mm -hmm. at too many places. So pretty in, much the same audience. Invariably, yeah. the same people. You know, right. if you get invited to by this company, you get invited by the other company, right. and, and you're doing the same routine over and over. It becomes a bit stale. It becomes does. a problem. It mm. does. It's a big problem. I had an issue one time when I pointed out some comedians. They got very, they, yeah, many years ago. Oh, okay. They got very upset with me. So, oh, okay. <laughs> so I think because... But some of them took correction and they knew what I was saying. Took correction, mm -hmm. yeah. It, some, sometimes it's best for people to experience it themselves, mm -hmm. the decline, mm -hmm. so they can go back to the drawing board. Mm -hmm. Prior to that, they will feel like, you know why? People are high yeah, every broken, weekend. Yeah. I might as well just go and say the same thing. But on like music, people don't want to hear the same jokes yeah. every um, now and Let me just chip in something. Do you think uh, Trevor Noah has actually raised the bar for African comedians? Sir? If he's what? If he's raised the bar. For African, African comedians? African, yeah, comedians on the, on the continent. Like, Well, when you think about the platforms he's operating from, mm -hmm. you can say, yes, he has raised the bar. Okay, let's say before the, sorry, um, before the Daily Show. Mm -hmm. You know, he used to do stand-ups in South Africa and right. everything, yeah. And the fact that, you know, um, the way he does the stand-up is different. Mm -hmm. I would say, um, um, joke side is just there, but intellectually, mm -hmm. and the way he brings, it talks about stuff that, you know, people can relate with and stuff. Mm -hmm. But meanwhile, the comedy here, um, I think is um, very, um, let me not say too local because of the Pigeon English infusion. I mm -hmm. understand that you need to cut across right. and um, meet a whole lot of other right. people. But you know, when you do most of your comedy in, in Pigeon now, there's a problem when, you, when you're when you doing a stage maybe in New York or right. in London or you know, you're trying to break outside, um, relate to people outside Lagos, it becomes mm. a problem because yes. most, of your, most of your crowd, you know, white people or people from other cultures. But meanwhile, when we have comedians that actually tell these jokes in English, it's easier for them to actually do shows outside, outside Nigeria. Right. Um, what I'm going to say is that the Nigerian audience is a very peculiar one. Yeah. We're, we're a plural nation. <laughs> so you have different tribes, different religious beliefs, mm. different cultures. It's difficult harnessing all these people together and telling a story that they can all relate with mm. and not be offended yeah. in certain quarters. You know? So I think that's why PG English is a strong lingua franca for us when it comes to stand-up comedy. comedy yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, but that doesn't negate the fact that really cutting across outside Nigeria becomes a problem. When I did Australia, uh, Melbourne, Sydney, and Brisbane in 2014, the first show was in Brisbane. You, you don't want to imagine my shock when I get into the audience and I see that half of my audience, more than half of my audience, we're white, mm. right? And they told me, oh, it's just a Nigerian audience. We advertised only on Facebook. <laughs> but unfortunately <laughs> for them, yeah. the show was a week to the Melbourne Comedy Festival. So Australians and Europeans basically thought that. That was part of it. It was like a pre yeah, a show, show festival. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So Brisbane was difficult. Not because I can't communicate in English, but I had to start rearranging all the punchlines yeah. in English. you know. Mm. And after that night, I went to bed 
and I rewrote my entire script because the same thing happened in Sydney, same thing happened in Melbourne. Yeah. So yes, our comedians, we we need to step up to and travel, um, to travel try to well. do English sets. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Okay. But nothing wrong with that. Good. But speaking of, uh, you mentioned the offend. Um, you don't really seem to care who you offend with your jokes. You, 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 you tell it as it is. Yeah. Well, I I lace it with sugar. <laughs> you know, so the truth, they say the truth is yeah, like bitter. a rat biting somebody and blowing, and the, blowing breeze. Yeah. Blowing breeze. <laughs> but you see, because the truth is bitter right. and the truth will always set you free. So I tell the truth. My mission is not to offend, my mission is to tell the truth. Mm. And while at it, I quote it mm. you know, because his comedy is, is all talking. Is there anything you won't joke about? No. Yes, I can't joke about anything. I mean, I lost my mom and I joked about yeah, it, so okay. that was it for me. Yeah. If I could tell a joke about that. I but maybe, like, maybe because 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 of what you do, you develop a certain level of um, you know of uh, of strength, where yeah. you can no matter what people throw at you, right? You know, you're like Osi. Osi is very thick skin. Mm. No matter what you tell him, he does like yeah, thank you. And he moves on. So you know, I mean, you, there are people who are not on that level with you. Yeah, you right. know, who cannot handle it. Right. So maybe may, some, something might happen. You might think, okay, maybe it's too soon for that. Let me let it go for a few months. Yes, yeah. yes. The, I mean, you people must are be, more sensitive, you, yeah. Yeah, you must be considerate, you yeah. know, because there are certain things when someone suffers a personal tragedy, mm -hmm. it just might be too early to talk about it. When someone suffers huge embarrassment, mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be a tragedy, a mm -hmm. huge embarrassment, you just might want to let it chill for a bit, mm -hmm. you know, before you start to feed mm -hmm. off it. Some issues are very sensitive, so I try to, I shy away from them, right. but it doesn't mean I can't talk about right. them when the okay. time is right. Okay. All right, let's talk about Port Harcourt. Uh, so what's the, what's the story with that? Yes, 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 yes. Bobby Malfire is coming to Port Harcourt for the first time. It's not just the first time in Port Harcourt, it's the first time it will be held anywhere outside Lagos. Okay. Right? So it's on the 30th of April, and... Uh, yeah, that's it. I, I, there's nothing else to say. Just come and see me in my elements. Mm -hmm. And Port Harcourt people will be enjoying a very new set of jokes for the first time. Yeah? You're going to yeah. launch the brand new jokes, eh? Uh, yes. Is there, anytime I'm doing Bobby Man on Fire, pretty much 80% of what I'm going to say is new. Right? So Port Harcourt people will be experiencing it for the first time. I'm going to beg them mm -hmm. that no recordings, please. <laughs> I think Kevin Hart used the same set for two years uh -huh. or more because they were not recording. Uh, Once a joke goes online, now that's it, it's dead. Right. You're in a show performing, they're like, we've heard that well, one. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Next, one. Next, next, <laughs> next, next. <laughs> yeah. So, are we going to see you, like, you know, um, do other stuff, um, say uh, TV um, or movies or something, aside from the regular, you know, you always see shows and doing stand up? Right. right. I'm, I mean, I'm movie maker, okay. I'm an actor, yeah. I just have not all of the people's faces, faces yeah. every screen. I think the last one was the, was the wedding one. The It's Her Day movie, yeah, yeah, it's 2016. Day. yeah 2016, yeah. yeah that's I plan to make one. another one this year, Okay. Right, but I'm it's taking my day. time. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I mean, I'm taking my, yeah. funny enough, the movie we're trying to make this time is not even coming. Okay. You know, so I'm trying to be careful to get it right, so people don't reject it, because I do understand that my, my, my base, when they see me, mm -hmm. They, they think, okay, we'll do aim for a good laugh. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I'm being careful because people like Jim Carrey have made that mistake before. Will Smith yeah. has made that mistake. Even though the film sold, but basically people didn't connect. You know? So I'm trying to go the Jamie Foxx way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're funny. Oh, but you can be serious too mm -hmm. and all that. you know. So yeah, that's it. Movie in the works. Uh, and there's another project. But I don't know if I can talk about it. I, I call it the first micro mini series people are going to see. So when you say it's a micro mini, a mini series is already short, right? Right. So when is a micro mini series? That I'm talking short. three minutes. Okay, cool. So per episode. Okay, so it's gonna have. So how how do you plan to pull that after? Well, that means it was like fantastic writing, you know, great acting at the same time. Exactly. Yeah. Writing is apt straight yeah. to the point. Straight, straight to the point. Straight to the point. The actor is straight to the point as yes, well. Yes, with okay. a narrator as well oh, to okay. help bridge. The gap. Okay. Yeah. We already shot pilots, so we just want to see how it flies with people. I just want to make. I want to make sure that at the end, everybody has on their phone like, oh, what episode do you have? I have it on my oh, WhatsApp. Oh, okay. You check this so out. it's gonna be like, yeah, uh, like a right. trapped in closet type thing. Stuff like that. Okay. Stuff okay. like that. Okay. You know? okay. So I don't just want to take care of the online market only. I yeah. want to take care of people because TV, uh, phones have become the new TV, right? The new TV. Yeah. <laughs> right. True. Sure. So we're looking forward to that. 
Yes. Mm -hmm. April 30. I can't, I can't hammer on it enough. I know I'm supposed to be singing this in Port Harcourt, but Beat FM is in Port Harcourt as well. Mm -hmm. So I know whatever I say here echoes in Port Harcourt, yeah, yeah. right? They, they, listen, they listen to us all they the time. They listen as well, So yeah. get, uh, let's talk about the pro who else is going to be there. I mean, you have any opening acts? Yeah, I have opening acts. There's uh, Kevin Sapp mm -hmm. and uh, there's Young Chief. These are worry boys who are very good. Their content is very, very genuine, right? It's, for me personally, it's a risk putting them to be my openers because they can get people really laughing to mm -hmm. death, right? And then when I come on stage, we'll laugh oh, finish. can you bring them back? Yeah, <laughs> laugh and finish, <laughs> you know? And uh, Odogo as well will be mm -hmm. one of them. I just want, like, it's the traditional man on fire, three openers, you know? So they open for me to tease mm -hmm. the audience, get them excited, get them ready. Okay. How does the process work for you in terms of your... The de developing the joke. I mean, how does it work? Give us a, tell us. You you hear something that happens in the news, or you experience right. something somewhere. Mm. Then th how do you now formulate the whole? How does it evolve? Sometimes the jokes just hit you. Like you hear, I feed off information basically. So okay. I read the dailies. I still I think I'm still I'm still a bit old fashioned because I still buy newspapers, right? Mm. And then I read news online. I read the blogs. I read gossip blogs. I read serious blogs. I read everything that can be read basically and um, sometimes you hear stuff and the joke just hits you mm -hmm. so now thank God for phones we just pick up the phone and write it immediately you know and then I sit down when I'm playing and I start to flesh flesh especially because for me the most important factor when you're doing a command performance mm -hmm. is transition right, right I don't want to tell a joke about Lisa mm -hmm. and OC and the next thing I'm talking about is NASA mm -hmm. and people like how did it jump from mm. yeah. Earth to, to, to space, yeah. space. Yeah. To space. <laughs> <laughs> I get you though, how's the transition properly? So yeah, yeah it's great. So um so I so, saw um so Man on Fire Potako is good is that only gonna be um the show you're gonna, uh, the only city you're gonna touch in Nigeria this year? For now, yes. Okay. We're looking into Abuja. Okay. You know, be, because the truth is I really don't do shows. When I say I don't do shows, I'm not a planner of shows, I'm not a promoter of shows. Mm -hmm. What's happening in Port Harcourt is people call below with promoters. I know them quite all right. Yeah. And they're like, uh we won't do Man on Fire. I'm like, okay, write me a check. <laughs> write me a check. Yeah. And then we'll send them out of write me a good stage, yeah. Yeah. good lighting, good sound. The audience must be seated like this. This is how much you should sell the tickets. Yeah. I don't want so-so and so on my show. Mm -hmm. I know. And they're like, okay, we agree to the terms and conditions. My duty is to just show, show up. up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The, because if I get involved in the planning of the show, I yeah. might not be funny. I know, I know. Right. Yeah, thank you. All right, sounds good, my man, Bovi. I want to wish you luck with it. Um, Thank you. What else is on your mind? Anything good? Anything happening to you? you know? um, after, it's a busy year because after Port Harcourt, I'm heading straight to Canada okay. throughout the month of May. Yeah, what's week. happening in Canada? Shay Lowe was just there just recently. You guys, oh, he was? Is there like some Nigerian movie? There's a good African crowd there. Crowd there, right? Mm. So they love stand up comedy, they love uh, comedy as well. Mm. So, yes, I'll be touring Canada and then in June, in fact, I'm going to rush back to Africa. I have a show in Ghana, mm. but it's not the Man of Fire franchise. Uh, I'll do Ghana, then I'll rush back to the US to tour the US in June. Okay, so, so busy, yeah, busy. Awesome. Very busy. Man on the move. Busy, yes. And then London in July. <laughs> but London is just London. Like, yeah. I'm doing it's just London. London, right? Okay. Yeah, okay. So, the next time you might see me, it might be August. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nice one. Right. Well, say thanks for coming through. Thanks, man. Thanks for so having me. April 30th, right. for Taco, if you happen to be down there. Uh, head on out, catch uh, our man Bovi. He'll be definitely it's gonna be on, on fire. fire. Be on fire. Man's, man's gonna be very hot. Man's hot. Right. Man's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, sure. So definitely, if I'm in Potako, definitely I'll come through. You should come. Yeah, yeah. Well, I love. Lisa is coming. Yeah, yeah. 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 You can fly me Tag in business along. class. Mm. Tag along. Yeah. Mm. No, you take PB. PB, right? We Private take bus. PJ, you yeah. take PB. Private bus. Private bus. <laughs> <laughs> Young Chagro. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll have it. We'll have it. Oh, we'll
But I have it all decked out for you. Oh, yeah, no, no problem. Sleeping right. quarters. I know. Uh, everything. Even your pictures. Your own private toilet. You are on a PJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Nice. Just By the time you do the selfie, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Give you a nice little reclining recal- recal- seat. Right. I know, eh? All right, Bobby, thanks for coming through. Thank you. Okay, Young Bane. Vroom, Bobby's on his way out. Uh, Man on Fire, we'll check him out. 30th of April in Portaco. Where's the venue again in, in Portaco? Aztec Acro. Yeah. Aztec Acro. Yeah. Aztec. That's, uh, I've been there before. That's where I think we were. Is it uh, Paul got married? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's You've been so around already. Yeah. It's quite central. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's um, state of the art, basically. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's safe. Okay. Security guarantee. Yeah, it's been in a very popular place. Anyway. Yeah. All right, look forward to it. We can't wait. Stick around now. More coming your way. I want to say thank you to Bovi for coming through. This is Young Bane with Room. The Morning Rush continues. <laughs>